Hi, I'm Paul. Hayden's not here today, so it's just me. And you're watching Grab It Game Day. Grab It Game Day! <laughs> Joining us here today is Coach Bo, aka Grab It Lions head coach. And uh, today we're going to be asking him a few questions about last week's game and today's game. So, uh, Coach Bo, after a loss to Prairie Grove, how do you keep the team spirits up? Well, you know, it's a long season, and I think we know that going into it. And so, uh, you know, we're just looking to continue to get better, focus on us, and, you know, attack our opponents. Second question, uh, the wing tee that Prairie Grove ran was a little bit confusing. Misdirection, everything like that. Um, and now you guys are going up against a team that runs the spread. Uh, how do you change the game plan from going from one team that's run heavy to going to a team that can throw the ball? Well, for us, um, you know, watching film and preparing, you know, we know what they do, and so we're able to manipulate that game plan to be more suited to us. You know, it's something that, uh, or a style of offense that we're definitely going to be more familiar with, and so I think that's going to increase our ability to play fast and execute our assignments. Pee Ridge has a pretty stout defense. That's something that you can not acknowledge. And how you can prepare for that during practice? Well, um, there's no doubt that Pea Ridge has a great defense. That's something that they've kind of hung their hat on over the last couple of years, and I don't think this year is any different. So uh, for us in preparation, it's about you know practicing fast. Um, we need great looks from our scout team to help simulate that best that they can. Um, and, uh, you know, again, continue to play to our strengths as an offense. Okay. And a final question. Uh, you guys are playing a D-line that has a lot of experience over the years, a very physical D-line that knows how to play. And with a very young offense, how do you prepare them to play a defense that knows what they're doing? Uh, again, that goes back to practice. You know, being able to come off the football and execute, you know, when things are in a somewhat controlled environment um, and just continuing to repeat things until we get them down to where they need to be. You know, and I got faith that Coach Emerson will have those guys ready for the ball game. Okay. I'm here with Coach Bo, and we will continue after this. I'm here with the 4 one Power Rankings Big Board that us at Gravit Game Day made ourselves hard labor. The point I'm getting at is I'm going to be telling you what we think and how we think the 41 Power Rankings look as of right now. So at number one, the 5-0 and Shallow Christian, a very good team. Um, they just they do multiple things that uh, is rare. <laughs> at number two, P Ridge. They are an aggressively defensive team. You know, they're led. Eh, I got them at number two. Some stuff. Uh, at number three, Prairie Grove. They defeated Gravit this week in a blowout win. And the way I see it, the wing tee is pretty good. They're a physical team. Now, we're going to be doing something different, though. We're going to leave the four and the five spot open because I'm going to do something. At number six, we have the Lincoln Wolves. Uh, they haven't really showed anything to this point. Um, Berryville, they're, they're a decent team, I guess. I don't know. And at number eight, Green Forest, and that speaks for itself. So we got two teams left, and I know what you're thinking. Where is Gravit? Well, I have Gravit right here in my hand, and then the other team I got Gentry, Rivals, right? Well, a lot of people were saying, Max Preps, that this is how it's supposed to be. Well, I think that's wrong. I have Gravit at four, Gentry at five. Gentry played a powder puff team here, and they also played Pea Ridge and got blown out of the water. Gravit plays Pea Ridge this week, and we're going to see what happens. This is me at the 4A1 Power Ranking Boards. See you over there. Okay, and now it's the part everyone's been waiting for, the picks. Today we have a special guest picker, my friend, and Tony Toe Tap, Joshua Dodge. Good. Have a seat. So, we got a couple pretty good games. We're going to see where people, where, well, people are at, the teams. And uh, to start us off, we got Shiloh at Prairie Grove. 
Shiloh Prairie Grove, I'm going to have to pick Shiloh. Just what they've been doing this year. Uh, as you said earlier, they're 5-0. and uh, They're just a really dominant team. I know that their defense is going to have a very uh, interesting game going up against that wing tee. Everyone always does uh, against Prairie Grove's wing tee, but I have to pick Shiloh on that one. Uh, I'm going to have to agree with you. Shiloh is a very aggressive team they have been. Prairie Grove is going to be physical, but I don't think they're going to be able to move the ball as well as they normally do. Absolutely. Uh, game number two, Gentry at Green Forest. I'm going to pick Gentry. Um, they're always a physical team. Uh, Green Forest, they just haven't shown much so far. Uh, they haven't these past two years. Uh, so I got, I got to pick Gentry. Um, I'm going to agree with you on that one. Gentry is a more well-experienced team. Green Forest has a sophomore back that is pretty good, but I do not see just one man carrying a team, so I got Gentry coming out in this one. Uh, our third game, Lincoln at Berryville. Who you got? I got Lincoln. Uh, their offense um, is actually very good. They have some really good skilled players that I feel like Berryville just isn't going to be able to keep up with. Um, their defense is also really solid. Um, and I'm just, I just really have a good feeling that Lincoln is going to take that one against Berryville. Uh, we saw what Lincoln was capable of whenever they played Gravit. And uh, I think in a close game, I, th I got a feeling Lincoln pulls this one out. And now for our game of the week, we have Gravit at P Ridge. Josh, are you picking? I got to go with Gravit. Um, I have faith in the preparation that we have done this week. Uh, to go against uh, Peave Ridge, and I feel like us going there on their homecoming just get will give us a little bit more fire and a little bit more uh, just intensity going into that game that I feel like we can translate all of our good hard practice from this past week, and we can just go out and show people what we can really do, especially after last week. I, f I feel like we're just going to come out swinging tonight. Yes, uh, those are very good points, but there's one thing I have to say. The bird is always going to fly high. But there's another thing, another saying. Do not underestimate a lion. Yeah. I'm picking Gravit. That's all from Gravit Lions Game Day, and we will see you next week.